Welcome back launchers, it's Joshua and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can use a custom domain name with your launch cart store. Now all you need to do, log into your launch cart admin panel, click on the settings link and then click on custom domain. Once you're on this page you should see something like this and you should see the default domain that your store came with. Every launch cart user initially gets a free dot launch cart dot store URL. All right, and you can customize this first part with whatever name or words you want. And you can customize that at any time. Currently, this is where your online store can be found. So you could take this URL, you could copy it, you could send it to your friends, you could post about it online, and you could drive traffic to it and you'd be fine. You don't need to use a custom domain name, but many of you would like to use your own custom branded URL and that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. So if you've already purchased your domain from a registrar, then let's just jump into it and I'll teach you the next steps. Simply just go to add your own domain. Now it's gonna ask you for a, a few choices and it's, um, you have to be really careful about which one you pick and let me explain. We have two choices. We have what's called a root domain. This would be a domain like something like domain.com or you have a subdomain. A subdomain has a little bit extra before the actual domain name, something like subdomain.domain.com. So if my custom domain name was Josh's T-shirt store, that would be a root domain. But if I had a subdomain, it might be something like store.joshuasTshirtStore.com, if that makes sense. So you have to pick which one would you like to use for your store. Do you want your store to be found at the root domain? Or do you want your store to be found using a subdomain? A subdomain is going to be useful if you already have an existing website set up. Maybe you have a WordPress blog there, or maybe you have another site there, and you don't want to mess with it. You don't want to change it. You don't want to take it offline. You want to leave that there, but you still want to use that branded URL with your launch cart store. Well, if that's the case, we recommend choosing a subdomain and then putting your launch cart store on something like store whatever your domain is .com, if that makes sense. All right, now, if you're not having to worry about that and you just wanna use a regular domain name and you don't have an existing site, then go ahead and choose the first option, which is what's called a root domain name, and that's the one that I'm gonna to pick today. So, I'm gonna choose this one. Now it's gonna ask you to type in your domain name. So, type in the domain that you have purchased. I'm gonna put in my fake URL of Joshua's T-shirt store.com, and then I'm gonna click next. And on this page, it's gonna give us instructions. It's gonna tell us exactly what to do and how to configure our domain name to work with LaunchCart. Now, if you're not familiar with how, um, you know, how this works, you can simply copy all of this. You can right click, copy it, and you can send it to the support of wherever you bought your domain name from and they will take care of it for you. Every single registrar will do this for free. They want your business, they wanna help you and they offer free support, so you can do that. Or if you know how to do it, just follow the instructions. It's very simple. You'll, uh, for, for this particular example, you'll need to create an A record and you'll need to create a C name record as well. So once you've done this, simply press yes, I have completed these steps. We do recommend making these changes before you press save right here. And then when you press save, page will refresh. And now you'll see you have more URLs that are showing up in your custom domain section. So let me explain what's going on here. As of right now, this first URL, this is your primary. This is where all the traffic will be sent to. Now that you've added a custom domain name, once it verifies and once these turn green, all four of these should turn green, or maybe two of these, depending on which selection you made. But these should turn green, and once they're green, then you can make these your primary. Now, if I try to make it my primary now, it's not gonna work, it's gonna give me an error. But once these do verify, you can press make primary, and that will be the new URL of your store, and all the traffic will be sent to that URL. Now, since I chose a root domain name, I actually have both. I have a subdomain and a root domain name, and that's just how root domains work because technically the www version of your domain name is indeed a subdomain and there's different instructions on how to configure that versus root domain. So I know it might sound a little confusing but we, we've made it really simple by giving you um, a particular set of instructions for each of the domains that you've configured here. And if you click on this button this will show you instructions just for that particular URL. If you click on this button it will show you different instructions for just that URL. Now the cool thing about LaunchCart is, is you can add an unlimited amount of domain names here. Only one can be your primary, but the rest can be redirects. 
So if you had another domain name that you wanted to redirect to your launch cart store, you simply add it to the same process we just did. Follow the instructions on this button and that's it. It's as simple as that. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us. We can definitely help. Um, I would recommend though that you copy these instructions and you send them to your hosting provider and they will, or I'm sorry, to your domain registrar and they will take care of it. If you have any issues, if for some reason when you refresh this page, the status has changed to failed, you can simply delete and re-add the domain name and the system will recheck your domain name settings and hopefully those will get green very fast. So with that said, that's how you add a custom domain name to your LaunchCart store. If you need anything else, reach out to us.